welcome back to my channel. I am eating a bagel out of a bowl. <laughs> we are heading out. I have some errands to do. We're actually meeting up with a friend for coffee. We might do a walk, I don't know, but it is definitely looking like it's going to rain, so. We might just sit and chat. And then I also wanna pop into the library. Haven't been there in a while. I might go to the garden center. I would love to pick up some herbs. It'll just depend on nap time and see if we can fit it all in there. But I'm glad you're here to join me. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to finish up my bagel and then we'll be on our way. you can hear me okay we're having a lovely rain and I'm taking this opportunity to sit outside and spend some time reading Danny is napping right now I have been reading women of the word and this book has been so helpful in talking about how we should read our Bibles on our own to actually learn about God and his word so I'm about halfway done this one and I've been reading it in the mornings. It's been so beneficial. And then I also just grabbed some books from the library. I kind of just looked through the shelves and found some that was interesting. I wanted to look for some cookbooks and gardening books and I found some fun things. So first I got this um, small garden book. I'm excited to look through this one, maybe learn some things, um, but mostly just to gather some inspiration and just pick up some tips for like planting herbs and vegetables that I'm focusing on this year. And then this one caught my eye too. It's by Good Housekeeping and it's just a bunch of like home skills for housekeeping, cleaning, laundry, those sorts of things. So just a lot of kind of random tips that I'm excited to just kind of look through and maybe glean some information. And then the last one I picked up was a cute little book. Um, the illustrations caught my eye. It's a bunch of recipes for babies and toddlers. I really like all the little illustrations and looks like there's some fun recipes in here. Some fish cakes, little mini muffins. So I'm just going to browse through. Sometimes it's nice to just have some books just to look through and either to gather some inspiration or information. ground down the concrete floor so next we are pretty much ready to put down the new flooring so this is what the floor looks like now it is all ready to go and I'm so excited to see it all come together you can see the paint I know the lighting isn't the best but you can kind of see the color a little bit I'm just so happy with the color that we chose it's the perfect like grayish color. It's not necessarily white. It is It is white. It's a warm white, but it definitely has that more beige gray undertone, and I just think it's lovely. So this is what the floor looks like right now. It's just the bare concrete, and we're going to put down the flooring very soon.
sauces for dinner. This is what I do when I have ingredients that I just need to use up. We've got some mushrooms, some peppers, onions, just kind of a hodgepodge as well as some cooked chicken, leftover ham. So we're just going to make some pizzas and it's a Friday today as well. So it seemed like a fitting thing for a Friday evening. I'm doing some chicken barbecue and then some with like more tomato-y flavors. And I added tomatoes to the veggies here and I think I kind of ruined it because now it's so liquidy. It kind of just looks like a mush. Maybe it can work as like a pizza sauce, tomato sauce. I don't know. I guess we'll see how it turns out. is the secret ingredient crispy onions on top it makes it so good and adds a nice crunch ago I switched Danny to this shampoo it's an organic non-toxic baby shampoo so this is a great option if you are in the market for a natural baby shampoo This Dr. Pepper float is so nostalgic. We do not normally get soda, but this is a fun Friday treat and this is so delicious. Oh my goodness, we cannot make this a habit. This has been my go-to breakfast of late, a smoothie and baked oatmeal with peanut butter and chocolate chips on top. I can link this recipe below. It is so delicious. Happy Saturday. I just heated up my coffee for the third time, I think. Typical. And this morning, I'm going to work on a little DIY craft project for the garden. So I have some stones that I've been collecting just whenever we've been on walks. I'm going to paint them and write vegetables on them to put in our garden. And then once Danny is up from his nap, we're going to head out to the garden center. It's a cloudy day today. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but I thought it would be fun to go there. And I do have a couple of things that I want to pick up. So it's just going to be a relaxed Saturday, we might do some work also downstairs. But for now, let's go ahead and get some paints and do a little craft project. Those need to dry for 
for a bit before I do the next step of actually writing on them. So I'm going to shape my English muffins. This is the dough. I think it's ready. It did get a little bit dried out on top. I should have put saran wrap on it, but oh well. I've never made English muffins before, so hopefully they turn out. Um, but I need them for Monday to make breakfast sandwiches with. So I just added in the honey, salt, and baking soda. I realized you're supposed to add that in now. So I did that and I added a little bit of flour because the dough was quite runny. So wait, we'll see how this turns out. This does not seem right. <laughs> it's so like runny and sticky, but they are rising. I don't know if you can see. They're puffing up a bit, so um, I don't know. I guess we'll just see how it goes. I did think it was kind of strange that you cook them on the cast iron. It says to let them rise for about 10 minutes. I assumed you would just do it in the oven, but what do I know? Well, these ones seem to be turning out better than <laughs> these ones. I do definitely think it is user error though. <laughs> I don't think it's the recipe. I do think it's a good recipe. Um, I can link it down below if you want to try it. I do just think, I don't know, I got this cast iron pan recently and it almost seems like there's maybe burned bits or something on the bottom. I've been seasoning it, but the English muffins are just seem to be burning a bit, so. But I mean, the sides look good. Maybe we'll cut one open and see. They do look pretty good on the inside. They smell good too, so they just look a little overdone. Here is the final product. Well, almost. I still need to apply this varnish on the outside just to protect the lettering, but I think they're really cute. This was so quick to do, and I like the simplicity of the black and white. I do wonder if I should have done a different color though because I don't know how well the black will show up in the soil, but I guess we'll see. We're learning as we're going. And then I realized I do have one extra stone because these are all the veggies we're doing in the garden beds. The tomatoes will be in the planters. So I have an extra, maybe I'll use this for an herb, but I think I'm gonna come up with a different way to label our herbs. All right, we just made it to the nursery. I've only been here once. I've never been this time of year with all the vegetables and herbs and everything. So I'm excited to look around because this is a pretty big one. They have a lot of options. I am looking for some herbs for a couple of planters that I want to do. I don't know if I'll get any vegetables today because we are going to be building our garden beds but we haven't yet. So, however, I do want to get a tomato plant to put in a planter pot. So we might look at that today, but I do definitely want to just look at the vegetables and see what they have. Well, that was a successful trip. I have um, some planter pots that we got. <laughs> My car is just like stuffed to the brim with things. We've got lots of herbs down here and I did actually end up getting a tomato plant that I'm excited about. So we're gonna head home and start putting together some planter boxes.
so far it's coming along quite nicely. I'm glad I got enough soil. I got four bags of soil, um, which looks like is gonna be plenty, and then we'll use whatever's left over in our garden beds. So we have our tomato plant planted here, and then I have some herbs that I'm going to add to this pot. We have quite the little compilation here. I'm going to add basil in with the tomatoes. I got two basils, and then I also have some marigolds. These are supposed to be good um, companion planters for tomatoes. So I got a couple of those that I will add in there as well. And then I have another pot that I'm going to add some more herbs. I got some, okay, I forget how to say this, nasturtium, nasturtium, I think. Um, so I'm gonna put this one in, I forget why, <laughs> I think. Oh, this one might actually go in with the tomatoes too. I have to look at my notes. I got some rosemary here. I think this is sage. What is this? Oh no, lavender. Yeah, I got a couple different variations of lavender. The sage is right here. And I'm gonna plant those together and those are supposed to help repel mosquitoes as well. Lavender and then also oregano I'm going to add in there as well. And then this little guy I just thought was so pretty. I'm not sure where I'm going to add it. I might actually add this one in with the herbs as well to add some color. But I just thought that these dark, dark blue flowers were so stunning. They immediately caught my eye. So those will be fun to add a pop of color as well. these herbs over here and I'm using this pot that I got today but then I also have this one from the tomato plant the tomato was in here that's what it came in when I purchased it but I have so many herbs I have more than I thought so I think I'm gonna mix them up and put them in both of these All right, well, here's the finished product. This is um, our little herb planter. I did just leave in the labels that came with, but I will have to make some cute ones. So I'll have to find an idea for that, but we have thyme lavender. This one is the key red. So I'm assuming that the blossoms will be that gorgeous pink color, oregano, and then this one is the typical English lavender and these are supposed to be good for repelling mosquitoes and then over here we have our tomato plant with the marigolds we have one basil here and then I put the other basil on the other side over here maybe I should have put them together I'm not sure but we'll leave that for now and I think they look they look really nice I'm so excited for them to continue to grow and then to be able to harvest from them and then over on this side, I have sage, this little flower that I forget what it's called. This one, I'm not sure how to say that. Rosemary. And then this one is the nasturtium. Looks a little bit sad, but I'm going to get water. That's one thing about starting your own garden is you don't have all the supplies in the beginning. So I need to get a watering can. But you guys look at our lilac bush is blooming. I'm sure in a few days it will be in its full color, full blossoms. And it smells so good. <laughs> Probably just have to do like 20 trips with this little guy.
While I am quite tired, if I'm being honest, I am a sweaty mess. It is warm and it is humid out, but I'm so glad to have that done. It feels great to actually have those things planted. Now they are ready and I can't wait to harvest from them. It's been something that I've thought about for so long and dreamt about starting a little backyard garden. So to actually have things growing and have things planted now is really exciting. I think something I'm looking forward to most about taking on this little gardening project is it's a hobby, but it's a hobby that I'm not feeling confident in. Usually when I've done hobbies in the past, it's because it's something that I either know a little bit about or just think that I would be good and actually succeed in that thing. Gardening is not that for me. I'm coming at it with like no knowledge. And so it's more of a challenge and I'm not someone to usually take on a challenge like that if I don't feel confident. So I'm excited to be sort of expanding my horizons a little bit, just trying something new. And of course the benefits for me is that I want to actually grow things that we can eat and use in our kitchen and so I'm really looking forward to that and I'm excited to take you guys along a little bit on the process. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. It was fun just taking you along over the course of yesterday and today sharing a little bit of inspiration and hopefully encouragement and maybe some gentle motivation along the way. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you know how much it means to me that you choose to spend a little part of your day with me watching my videos. It truly does mean so much and I'm so grateful for you. So thanks again so much and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye. I just looked down at my coffee I've been drinking and there is soil in my coffee. <laughs> Lesson learned.